All right, chapter 8, exponential and logarithmic functions. That's what we're going to take a look at here now. So um, 8.1 is the exponential growth. So that's what we're going to be looking at here, exponential growth. And let's take a look here. Um, exponential functions, okay, exponential functions. It's uh, basically saying that you would be the x. Now, prior to us doing anything with exponential functions, you've had the x down on the side. You've had it as a variable. Um, we were graphing and solving equations that were uh, x plus 3, or we were looking at uh, quadratics like x squared plus 3x minus 7, or we were even looking at cubes, as in x cubed plus 3x uh, squared minus x plus 8. All right. Everything that we've been talking about, the x has been um, in the base. It's been um, right beside the number. But now, as you notice here, we now have the x in the exponent. And the base, when we're talking about this, which is b, is a number down below. So actually, we are looking at a base down below, and we are talking about the x or the variable being up above. Um, the other thing we need to keep in mind is that it needs to be uh, the uh, the uh, base b needs to be positive and it needs to be greater than one. So we need to make sure that the base is positive and greater than one. So here's an example: you have uh, two to the x. What that means is that your base is a number and it's positive and it's greater than two or sorry greater than one which is two right and the exponent is the variable which is x an asymptote okay uh, we're going to start getting into asymptotes we're talking about exponential functions and logarithmic functions an asymptote is a line on the graph um, and it's kind of like an invisible line it's a line in which your your graphed line will approach but never quite touch Okay, the closer and closer it gets, it looks like it's going to touch it, but it actually is not touching it. And that's what's very important here. An asymptote is the line, and it's never going to be touched. Your graph gets really, really close to it, but it never touches that line. So exponential growth functions is y equals a uh, bx. And what's important about this is that these are both positive. Exponential growth. Since it's growth, we're talking about a positive number. So growth meaning that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 1. So that still needs to be greater than 1 like before, but a also needs to be positive. So that's something else to think about in order for it to be a growth function. Okay, so that also needs to be positive. So we're going to start by trying to graph these. And to graph this uh, first one here, what we're going to do is we're going to type this in. I'm going to try to type this in with you at the same time. So press Y equals, and when you get to Y equals, here's what I want you to do. Do parentheses 1 divided by 2, end parentheses, and that means we have the fraction in there. Then press times, then press 3 with a caret sign, and that caret sign means we're moving uh, up to an exponent, and I want you to plug in the x, which is right beside the alpha key. When you plug that in, I want you to go to graph, and you get a graph that kind of looks like it's going up really steep like a hill as it goes to the right. It's kind of increasing as it goes to the right. Um, to figure out what these numbers actually are, I want you to press second and graph. And when you press second and graph, that gives you your table. And your table that's listed we're going to try to figure out what all the numbers are. Well, when I look at negative 2, I get 0 0.05556. Well, when you plug in a negative 2, that's about 1 over 18. When you plug in a negative 1, um, you end up getting 0.1666, right? Well, that's actually about 1 sixth. When you plug in a 0, you get a half. When you plug in a 1, you get 3 halves, which is 1.5. And over here, when you plug in a 2, you end up getting 9 over 2 which is 4.5. So when I go to plot these points, what it's saying is I take this uh, negative 2 and I go up just a little bit, right? 1 18th. Then I go over negative 1 and I go up about 1 6th, a little higher. I go over nothing and I go up about a half, which is right here. I go over 1 and I go up 1.5 and I put a point right there. And I go over 2 and I go up 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half, which is right here. And I connect it and there's my graph. Now, keeping up with what we were talking about before about asymptotes, okay, this line gets really close to zero. 
All right, it gets really close to y equals 0, but it never actually touches y equals 0, and that is what's most important here. That's what I want you to keep in mind. Okay, This y equals 0, that's the asymptote. The line gets really close to 0, but it never quite touches it, and it's a horizontal asymptote. When we're talking about exponential functions, we're talking about horizontal asymptotes is what we're talking about. So all the lines, all the asymptotes we're speaking of, they're all about the horizontal lines. And let's take a look here. Um, continuing here with example one, I'll continue with this graph when we come back.